have been super weird. All right, here we go. Week 18, day two, DLR, and I, I just uh, took a picture of day one. I blame Nadia for that. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like the right thing to do. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh, the first one says, Nadia, what does this say? Go ahead, read that. Did you know that, that do something nice day is It's hard to read, though, sometimes, isn't it? It's like so goofed up, right? So it says, did you know that do something nice day is in October 5th? How are we going to fix this? Yeah. Oh, you have to change the N-O to um, uh, K-O. K-N-O-W. Yes, and that's a homophone mix-up, right? No and no. N-O and K-N-O-W have the same sound, but they, they're they spelled differently and have different meanings. And those That's called a homophone pair. So yes, did you know that do something nice day? That's a specific day, right? Oh, it needs to be covered. Yes, it does. So let's do that. I thought that do sound really weird. Do something nice day. Is in October 5th? <clears throat> no, it's on. What should it be? On, on. On October 5th. And then there's one last thing that we've got to see here. Oh, oh. There's four types of sentences, right? Four types. We have interrogative, exclamatory, right? Mm -hmm. Command, mm -hmm. and statements, right? So what do we have? Declarative would be a statement. Uh, well, what what kind of sentence do we have here? Yes, it's a, it's a question. It's interrogative. So what do we need at the end of it? Uh, question mark. That's right, not a period, but a question mark, right? You read that period. All right, so we have. Uh, did you now? Let's read it correct. Remember, because we do what we read, read edit, edit right. right? Okay. So did you know that do something nice day is on October fifth? So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven corrections for that one. That's a lot, right? <clears throat> All right. So then your next phase of this little process, you would do what? You gotta write it. So the key is, did you you gotta remember uh to to translate your corrections down to your writing, right? Do Something nice day is on October 5th, question mark, right? There it is. So read, edit, write. All right. The two easiest things to do is smiled at someone and say hi. That is a hot, scolding, piping hot mess. Blake, what do you see first? Easiest is spelled wrong. Give me the rule of Y here, Blake. So I have E-A-S-Y. What comes before the Y? Which is a vowel or a consonant. Let's get rid of the Y. And then the suffix. And then the suffix, right? E-S-T, because the suffix is E-S-T. The two easiest things to do is smiled at someone and say hi. Yeah. Smile. smile should just be smile, right? Well, we've got one more. Oh, we got one more goof up here. <clears throat> do you see it? What is it? No. no. The two easiest things to do. Yes. Oh, no. no. It's, it's actually a number. Oh, two things. Think... No, that's also. That means also. T W O is correct. We're talking about two things, right? Mm -hmm. It. Listen. Let's read it like this. The two easiest things to do is smile at oh, someone and say hi. What is it? Uh, instead of is, it's arm. It should be arm. Wait a minute. I had three or four hands go up after I read it aloud. Sometimes when you read something out loud to yourself, you'll hear the mistake. And and I it's not sometimes, it's all the time. 
You're going to hear it, right? Not going to, but you're going to hear it, right? All right, so it looks like we have one, two, three corrections for that one, okay? All right, complete the sentence with the words that are related to the bold word. One way to be thoughtful is to watch TV, right? No! What? I feel like it's really thoughtful to sit around and watch TV. No. <laughs> no, it's it's take out the trash, right? It's it's a thoughtful thing to do. Uh, I have children who don't do that, and it gets on my nerves. Oh, I do that all the time. Uh huh. I do it never. I oh my god! You just had. Oops. All right, take out the trash. All right, take out the papers and the and and and. and, and. You ever hear that one? It's an old one from the fifties. Circle and that's recorded. You guys got that at home. Circle the meaning of the bold word. When you help people, you are showing them an act of kindness. Now, if I were simply to put up the word act like this, look, right? If I were to just put this word up, if I just did this right here, if I just did, if I just wrote the word act just like that, and I said, hey, tell me the definition of act right now. Go. Who's got it? None of us know. What is it? We don't know because there's... Things that well, add. but what are we missing? The things that come before it? Sense, yeah, but what do we call that? You're right. What do we context call it? Clues. What is it? Context clues. The, the context. You would say to me, I can't give you the definition. That, you're right, John, uh, Josh. You're right. Okay? Josh said initially, we don't know because there's multiple meanings to it. Josh, is that what you're, you're right? Yeah. So Josh is basically saying to me, and, you know, I need to see it in context, Mr. C Mr. T. So let's now take a look at it. I almost said Mr. C. Mr. T, when you help people, you are showing them an act of kindness. So is an act a thing or a deed or to perform in a play or a movie? That's easy. Everyone knows that it's a Yay. thing. It's easy now, right? Because kindness is a clue. Help people is a clue, right? All right. There it is, y'all. Week 18, day two in the book, Sarah.